Courtney, and I'm going to be making a shirt that has a variety of different vinyls from Heat Transfer Source. I will be using HTV vinyl as I will be putting it on a shirt. I've uploaded the design into Design Space, and I will be using a black shirt, so I don't need this black layer. Um, it adds a lot to the design, but because my background's already black, I don't need it. And then I am going to attach all of the like colors. So the items I want to be cut in the different vinyls, I'm going to attach so that they stay in place. So I'm going to want this L is going to be the V, the E. I am going to want to attach. And then the layers that I attach, I like to hide just so I can easily see what I have left to attach. So now I'm going to attach the white parts, the E, the design on the E, the beard, and our L. We're going to attach those as well. Now, when we go to make it, those items stay in place. Cricut doesn't rearrange them on the board. And because we are using glitter, matte, and metallic vinyl, I, they all come with a carrier sheet, so all of these need to be mirrored. We are now ready to cut our vinyl. I'm going to use a variety of heat transfer vinyl on my project today, all from Heat Transfer Source. We have their matte, metallic red, and glitter. I'm going to start with the glitter. All of these have a carrier sheet. The matte, the metallic all have a carrier sheet, so they go shiny side down. Let's attach it to our mat because we are going to cut this on cardstock plus. I found on my machine that works really good for the glitter. We're going to load it into our Cricut. Before I unload my mat, I always check to make sure that the cut is good. This just helps. I'm using my Tweety Light. Just because if it doesn't cut, you can always hit the C button again on a Cricut and it will cut it in the same exact spot as long as you don't unload your mat. That's the key. Do not unload your mat. And it looks like we have a good cut. So we're ready to go on to the next one. Now I'm going to show you how awesome the weeding is for this glitter. Um, I love how HTS glitter vinyl is layerable so you can layer on top of it and it weeds so much better than some of the other glitters that i've tried especially look at the detail on this buffalo plaid look at i'm pulling it right up so the buffalo plaid pattern i was a little worried about how it was going to cut because there's a lot of detail there but this seemed to do really really well It cuts so well and it stays together and look at look at how that just peels apart and we have our buffalo plaid. See how awesome that we did? Now that all our layers are cut and weeded, we are ready to heat iron them on our shirt. I use a lint roller to just get any extra lint or hair off the shirt before I press. Press the area that you're going to press beforehand. Just a quick little press to get the moisture. All right, well, we didn't start with a black bottom layer, like the file said, because our shirt is black. So we're going to start right with our white. If you want, you can 
kind of layer it before you press it just to make sure the layout is where you want it. But only press one layer at a time. I always use a Teflon sheet. And we just press. Being that this is layered, I won't go the full 30 seconds because vinyl does shrink when it's heated. Um, I usually go, depending on the size of the design, about half, 15 seconds for something like this. If it's really small details, I'll only go for five seconds. Just kind of depends on the design. And we'll just cool it down so we can pull it off. Next, we're gonna do our glitters. Get it lined up. Now we have our metallic. So I'm gonna put his matte nose on first. I could have done that when I was doing the glitter because there's no overlap, but I didn't. Just enough to get it to stick because we will be putting more heat and pressure on it once we get everything down. have all of our layers down. I'm gonna put our Teflon sheet and we're gonna do it for the full 30 seconds full pressure. For more tutorials like this just subscribe to our YouTube channel and remember to hit the bell to be notified of all new tutorials. Thanks again everyone.